racing away from the 1400 metre marker and Trip Queen's jumped nicely this evening. There's a wall of five, six in a row. Hungry Heart, Icy Spirit. Windsinger's back in third. And then comes Mythical Magic. Commerchant's flight is further back. Trip Queens is towards the outside. Itch Carrier, Seek the Summit. Then comes Silver Inspiration, about eight lengths off them. School Runners, very strong. Grey Light is the trailer, about seven or eight lengths from top to tail. Hungry Heart, just the leader, and Trip Queens, every chance is only three parts of a length back second. Edge Carrier's third, Icy Spirit's fourth. Wind Singer's back in fifth, four lengths to track down. They're followed further back by Mythical Magic. Commerchant's flight is near the rail. Seek the Summit and Grey Light and then comes School Run and Silver Inspiration. Top of the lane, Hungry Art, just the leader, Edge Carrier, the first one to challenge. Trip Queens gets the wake-up call, Icy Spirits on the inside. Towards the outside, Mythical Magic's running on, Commerchant's flight's going in, School Run's also coming forward. Four or five of them in a line, School Run's running on from behind, Trip Queens gets back into the race, and yet Seek the Summit on the outside. Seek the Summit's coming to collar them all, and Seek the Summit got up for the hat-trick. Second will go to School Run, third trip Queen, and then Mythical Magic. Reeling off the hat trick is number four, Seek the Summit. Well done to Dennis Barge. Richard Fourie picks up the ride on this occasion. And Seek the Summit comes on really stealthy. Got hooked right to the outside. Makes up the run. School run came from one of the trailers and was strong in the early stages. Trip Queens will run into third. Was prominent when they turned for home. Uh, took a while to get into a stride. She stays on, beaten three quarters of a length. Then Mythical Magic, Hungry Heart, Grey Light, Commerchant's Flight, Wind Singer, Itch Carrier, Silver Inspiration, and Icy Spirit. The tote favourite was number eight, and that is Trip Queens. The winner is on the right hand side, and that's Seek the Summit with the white noseband. And Richard Faree asks the daughter of Elusive Ford to get going now, and she comes to Collar School Run and Trip Queens. And Elu number four, Seek the Summit, she pays five rand and 180, ends up winning race number five. Until the running of the sixth race, back to the studio. This daughter of Elusive Fort has notched up her fifth victory this evening and seek the summon from the Dennis Bosch stable. She's reeled off the hat trick, never an easy toss, but well done to you and the team. Yeah, first of all, I want to thank Sherwin. He's overseas. I'm sure he's going to be delighted. Um, he's got a couple of horses with me, and as you know, you've got to start culling and getting rid of some. I'm just pleased that this one has done the trick for him. Uh, when you've got a few horses, you need to pay the bills and you need to have winners. And I think she's she's come along this filly, yeah. She runs well over 1,200, but I think 1,400 is her best trip. Yeah, you know, Sheldon, I, I always thought she wanted to go a bit of ground, but, you know, you don't change your winning formula. Uh, I think if she never won tonight, she would have been an unlucky loser. Um, I think she's got a nice turn of foot. It was a competitive field, so I hope that she's not a very big filly, so I hope the handicap is gentle on her. Uh, I don't think they were world beaters, but competitive. So, And uh, to my family in Cape Town, Lauren's there, Richard's little ones, they're watching at home, so yeah. Father's Day on Friday, <laughs> on, on Sunday, the old man somewhere around 90, so <laughs> I sent her down there. So yeah, well done to Richard, great ride. Thanks for that. Thank you. Richard Faree jumping aboard Seek the Summit and he's produced her, like he mentioned, not too much of her, but when she quickens, she really quickens. Yes, uh, she's got courage. Um, you know, if she got beat today, it would have been unlucky, unlucky hiding, you know. Um, as I straightened up for home, I elected to go between two horses. There was enough room and then, um, you know, it just started closing on me and 
uh, it worked out in my favour. Uh, the horse can turn it on again, and uh, just was forced to sit a little bit longer. And um, when I came through the 250, I asked her for a burst, and um, she finished all the way through. And you know, the further we were going past the line, the further she was going to get going away from there. So she's she's not much, but um, she tries hard. So I just want to say well into Mr. Bosch and his whole team. Uh, Philly looked tremendous, uh, and to keep him ticking over like that, um, you know, that's not easy game, you know. Uh, so my hats off to Mr. Bosch, he deserves all, all the success. Well done. Thank you very much, and then also to his owners, thank you very much for the ride. And then just like to mention my sponsors at Rockets, and thank you for their support as well. Excellent. Thank you. Richard Faree summarising it, number four, Seek the Summit. We'll watch that replay at a switch right to the outside, but has delivered with a powerful thrust late on.